Before working with equations uh, involving fractions, we probably should do a re quick review of um, how to add fractions, how to multiply fractions, how to deal with fractions uh, when mixing fractions with whole numbers. So first off, let's just begin with a simple example of how to um, add two fractions together. All right, if I were to take, for instance, two thirds and were to add three fifths to that, in order to find um, to add those two fractions, I would have to find a common denominator. So I look at the three and the five, and I ask myself, what is the smallest number that three and five will fit into? And after doing some thoughtful reflection, I come up with 15. So I'm going to multiply the two thirds. I'm going to multiply that three by five. What do I multiply the denominator by? I multiply the numerator by as well. So you notice here I've now multiplied two thirds by five fifths. Five fifths is just another name for one. And so what we're doing is basically we're not changing the value of two thirds. We're simply changing how two thirds looks. So we're renaming the fraction so that the denominator is now 15. Two thirds now becomes 10 fifteenths. Doing the same thing for 3 fifths, here I'm going to multiply that denominator by 3. And again, what you multiply the denominator by, you multiply the numerator by as well. So we're multiplying that second fraction by another form of 1, 3 over 3. So now 3 fifths now becomes 9 fifteenths. And the rule of fractions is when you add fractions together, um, you have to have a common denominator. And then all you do to complete the operation is simply to add the two top numbers, the two numerators together. So we're simply going to add 10 and 9 together, and we get an answer of 19 fifteenths. Okay? This is called an improper fraction, and you're, you're welcome to leave that as an improper fraction. If we were to um, make it into a mixed number, we would ask ourselves, gee, if I, uh, how many, <clears throat> how, uh, I have 19 fifteenths, and that uh, turns into 1 and 4 fifteenths. So that's uh, the improper fraction right here is 19 fifteenths, and the mixed number is 1 and 4 fifteenths. Okay. Um, so this is a so this is adding fractions. We also have um, multiplying fractions. And the rule for multiplying fractions is pretty straightforward. That is to say, um, if you, let's say I were to take 2 thirds and multiply it by 3 fifths, the rule is you simply multiply the numerators together. So this becomes 2 times 3. And you multiply the denominators together. So this becomes 3 times 5. So we would get. 6 fifteenths as a final answer in that multiplication. Okay, now we can reduce 6 fifteenths. You notice here that we have both 3 in the numerator and 3 in the denominator as a factor. We can reduce uh, this if we, uh, if we say, geez, 3 goes into 6 twice and 3 goes into 15 five times. So we can reduce that to 2 fifths. Okay, so again, the rule for multiplying fractions, multiply the numerators together, multiply the denominators together. All right, so with these two operations in mind, let's take a look at an equation where um, there are fractions involved. So for instance, if I were to have, let's say, um, 3 fourths x plus 2 thirds equals 5. And I asked you to solve for x. Well, I'll be honest with you. Uh, probably the 
easiest way to work with this is to try and get rid of the fractions. And the way to do this is a nifty uh, rule or a nifty little trick you can use to do this. Um, if you know the common denominator, and in this case looking at the denominators of 3 and 4, we can see that the smallest number that 3 and 4 both fit into would be 12. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by that number. So we're going to multiply 12 times the quantity 3 fourths x plus 2 thirds. Now we're going to multiply the other side of the equation by 12 as well. So 12 times 5. So using distributive property now, I'm going to go 12 times 3 fourths x. So I have 12 times 3 fourths x plus 12 times 2 thirds equals 12 times 5. Okay? So now it's simply a matter of multiplying 12 times 3 fourths. Well, let's see. 3 fourths of 12. If I were to multiply, if I were to take 12 and multiply it into four equal parts, each part would be what? Probably would be 3, right? 3, 6, 9, 12. Well, 3 of those is going to be 9. So this becomes 9x. And then I look at uh, 2 thirds of 12. Well, if I divide 12 into three equal parts, that's 4, 8, 12. So 2 of those would be 8. So we have 9x plus 8. And then I have 12 times 5, which is just plain 60. So by multiplying both sides of the equation by the common denominator, I have basically rewritten the equation so that it no longer has a fraction. And now I can simply solve the equation as we've done in the past. So I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides of the equation. So this leaves me now with 9x is equal to 52. And then I simply need to divide both sides of the equation by 9. So 9x divided by 9 is equal to 52 divided by 9. And we're left with x is equal to 52 ninths. Now, if I want to make that into a mixed number, how many times does 9 go into 52? Well, 6 times 9 is 54, so 5 times 9 is 45. So that's going to be 5, 45, and then how many ninths left over? How many, let's see, 45 plus what equals 52? I think 7. So this becomes 5 and 7 ninths. And that would be our answer. Either one of those would work either as an improper fraction as 52 ninths or as 5 and 7 ninths as a mixed number.